everyone, this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to find or solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve d square plus 5d plus 6 into y equals to e power x plus e power minus 2x. Solution. Let's get going. So we are given d square y plus 5 dy plus 6 y equals to e power x plus e power minus 2x, right? We know that differential operator d equals to d by dx. Then you can write the given equation as d square y by dx square minus, sorry, plus 5 dy by dx plus 6 y equals to e power x plus e power minus 2x, right? So, we need to find the order and degree of the given equation. Identify the highest derivative. So, here d square y by dx square is our highest derivative. So, our order will be 2 and the degree will be power of the highest derivative, 1, okay? Actually, the highest power of the highest derivative is our degree. But we don't have any other d square term, d square y by dx square, whose power is something else. So, here our dear degree will be 1, right? Now, coming to the problem. We are given an equation, given differential equation. d square plus 5d plus 6 into y equals to e power x plus e power minus 2x, right? Which is in operator form. Which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q. Where f of d equals to d square plus 5d plus 6 and q equals to e power x plus e power minus 2x. So now we'll find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp where yc is a complementary function and yp is a particular integral. So we'll find complementary function using auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 that is the homogeneous equation but we are given a non-homogeneous equation right? And yp is given by 1 by f of d into q. Okay. We'll just consider f of d into y equals to 0 and we'll find complementary function to the given equation. So now let's find complementary function firstly. Using the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to you'll get f of m by replacing differential operator d by m in this f of d then you'll get f of m equals to m square plus 5m plus 6 then our auxiliary equation will be m square plus 5m plus 6 equals to 0 Right? Let's split the 5m as some 2m plus 3m. Now, you can take m common from the first two terms. You'll get m times m plus 2. And let's take 3 common from the next two terms. You'll get 3 times m plus 2. If you notice, you're having m plus 2 in both the terms. So, let's take m plus 2 common from these two terms. And you'll get m plus 2 into m plus 3 equals to 0, right? m plus m plus 2 into m is m into m plus 2 and m plus 2 into 3 is 3 into m plus 2, fine. Now, equate each factor to 0, equate m plus 2 equals to 0 and m plus 3 to 0, then you'll get m equals to minus 2 and m equals to minus 3, right? So, from this, we'll get m equals to minus 2 minus 3, which are the roots of the auxiliary equation are the rules of 
f of m equals to 0, right? Which are real and distinct. We don't have any repeated rules or complex rules or any other rules, irrational rules I can say. Here we are having only real and distinct. So, if we have any two roots, say m1, m2, which are real and distinct, then our complementary function will be given by c1 e power m1x, one root into x plus another constant into e power, the other root into x, right? So, here our complementary function will be complementary function is yc equals to c1 e power 1 root minus 2 into x plus c2 into e power the another root minus 3 into x. So, therefore yc equals to c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power minus 3x. Okay. So, we got two real and distinct roots and complementary function c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power minus 3x. Now, let's find particular integral. Particular integral yp equals to 1 by f of d into q. Then yp will be equals to 1 by or yp is equals to we are we can write particular integral yp equals to f of d for f of d d square plus 5d plus 6 into q, we are having q, e power x plus e power minus 2x, then you will get 1 by d square plus 5d plus 6 into e power x plus 1 by d square plus 5d plus 6 into e power minus 2x, okay? We can find separately, okay? Consider the first term as some pi1 particular integral 1 and second term as particular integral 2 for our convenience, okay? Let's find particular integral 1. Firstly, one by d square plus 5d plus 6 into e power x. So we are having f of d, right? f of d equals to d square plus 5d plus 6. Let's find f of 1. We can also write this as 1 by d squared plus 5d plus 6 into, you can write e power x as e power 1 into x for some a equals to x. Then you will get, see here, our y p is of the form 1 by some f of d into e power ax, right? There is a real number, right? 1 by f of d into e power ax plus 1 by f of d into some e power ax, okay? We are given q in the e power ax form. Fine. Now let's find f of 1. 1 plus 5 plus 1 which is equals to 6 plus 6. 12 Right? Since f of 1 is not equals to 0, then you can write 1 by f of 1 into e power x. That is 
you can replace this d by 1. You will get 1 by, you have f of 1 equals to 12 into e power x. Therefore, pi 1 equals to 1 by 12 into e power x. Or you can just write this as e power x by 12. Particular integral 1 equals to e power x by 12. Now let's find particular integral 2. e power minus 2x. 1 by f of d into e power minus 2x. Now let's find f of minus 2 equals to minus 2 whole square plus 5 into minus 2 plus 6 which is equals to minus into minus plus 2 square is 4 plus into minus minus 5 twos are 10 plus 6 which is equals to 4 plus 6 10 minus 10 equals to 0 right. So we got f of minus 2 equals to 0 since it is equals to 0 so we will include 1x into 1 by we will find the derivative of this that is we will find f dash of d since this is f dash uh, f, f of d right so we will find f dash of d into e power minus 2 into x so let's find f dash of d we have f of d equals to d square plus 5d plus 6 then what will we have dash of d 2d plus 5, right? Now, find f dash of minus 2, which is equals to 2 into minus 2 plus 5 equals to minus 2 twos are 4 plus 5 equals to 1, which is not equals to 0. Okay? Since f dash of minus 2 is not equals to 0. So, we will write minus 2 in the place of d. You will get x into 1 by since f dash of minus 2 equals to 1. You will get 1 by 1 into e power minus 2x which is equals to x e power minus 2x. Therefore, Particular integral 2 equals to x into e power minus 2x. Now we'll write the general solution. Firstly, we need to write particular integral, right? Y p. And then we'll go for the general solution. Then y p equals to result obtained from p i 1 e power x by 12 plus result obtained from p i 2 x e power minus 2 x. Therefore, the general solution is y equals to yc plus yp that is complementary function plus particular integral which is equals to complementary function c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power minus 3x plus particular integral e power x by 12 plus x e power minus 2x. Therefore, y equals to c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power minus 3x plus e power x by 12 plus x into e power minus 2x is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see in the next video. Until then, bye bye.